Hi everyone at Wayne Deacon, uh, my name's Heather and I run a business called Today Starts Now. Um, you guys all sent me some fantastic emails, um, I'm off sick at the minute and when I checked my um, inbox I was pleasantly surprised, like wow, all these emails from business study students, so uh, I figured instead of applying to each and every one of you individually, because that would take a lot of time and um, I'm quite tired at the minute because I'm off sick, so uh, I figured it would be easy to do a video, um, so welcome, uh, and welcome to my home. You can see. Um, I've thrown all the kids out and all the cats out, so hopefully we'll have peace and quiet. Um, okay, so my name's Heather, as I said. I just want to do a roll call, so thank you guys uh, for sending the emails. You know, welcome to the world. This is how we interact now, so uh, well done. Uh, I just want to say thanks to Holly, Megan, Jamie, Connor, Faye, Alex, another Alex, Isaac, Bradley, Thomas, Jay, Lewis, Andrew, Georgina, Alana, Charlotte and Charlotte, uh, Lauren, Elliot, Emily and Cameron. Thanks you guys, you know, that's really cool. Um, you know, technology's brilliant. I never emailed teachers or um, I never emailed businesses when I was your age, so uh, you're making me feel old as well. Um, today starts now, okay, we were born uh, out of uh, passion, um, need, uh, moving times as well, probably the best one. Um, Things were changing with the government about what they were doing and where they were going. Um, I could see that schools started to need something different to what they, they didn't have before. Um, so I wanted to position myself in the place to be able to do that. Um, the hashtag of the, the strap line of my company would be make a real difference. I felt that in my other job that I actually wasn't making that real difference. I was fulfilling... Um, the needs of others is in ticking boxes and data and really I just wanted to get back to working with young people and really making a difference to their lives you know that's why I set up today starts so now and and you know and we're still going strong um, and uh, it's good it's changing you know that's welcome to being an entrepreneur that it's constant changing you're constantly looking at what's coming up and what's phasing out you know look at all these new uh, exams no GCSEs you're looking at all different A levels got at government agendas it's you know you're trying to keep everyone um happy so you kind of got your head up but you know like a meerkat all the time um we have a we have a, a small but really solid team um and you might know Neil, who's worked in your school. You might see him, um, and if not, you'll probably see him in September as well. And um, so, uh, but I hope you guys get to know us for what we do, and, and that might give you a better understanding. Um, but here we go. Let's start going through your questions, if that's okay. Um, well, I started the business in 2010. As I said, out of need necessity, I own it. Uh, it was my idea. Um, I named it today. Starts now, and uh, you know, I, I get all sorts of. Um, names when I phone up and say hi it's Heather from Today Starts Now I get the Today Starts Tomorrow so you know I've always thought about mm, name of the company uh, would I change it maybe not I don't know anyway um, question uh, how do you know your methods of customer needs uh, is effective uh, in most of our schools this year we um, have upped our days so um, look at St Peter and Paul's around the back of you um, last year we delivered one day and as of September we're, we've upped that to uh, two days and uh, hurrah so what that means is that the, the schools have really seen what we can do and um, they want more of it because we've had such an impact with um, one year group over there we're now up to, to work with two year groups um, so you know, it shows that what we're doing is right um, if our workload's increasing. Um, we have to look at um, all our schools very differently. Um, no school contract is the same. Every customer has a different need. Um, my customer class is the school, so it could be, for example, um, Miss Murphy in your school and uh, Miss Healy. They talk to me about what your school wants and needs. And once they've done that, then I sit down with the young people at the end of the day and deliver what is needed for the young person and for the teachers. So, you know, they're getting what they want um, and the young person's getting the help that they need. Um, how do we adapt our business to meet customer needs? Okay, so um, we have different staff who are qualified in very different things. Um, you know, we've got someone who's really good at qualifying with gifted and talented. We've got someone who's really good at mentoring, and um, particularly younger people. Um, we've got someone who's really good at special needs. So I'll draw the best skills from the staff to suit that school contract. Um, how does meeting your customer needs bring you more customers? Well, for example, last year, um, St. Peter and Paul's, we delivered the contract um, and they loved it. And they upped our days because they could see that we could help other young people. Um, 
that's the proof in the pudding. You know, your balance sheets, I suppose, would, would be the best way to know if you're doing it right. Because if all your customers start to drop away, then you're not meeting their needs. Um, how do we currently meet customer needs? In most of our schools, we have meetings every four weeks um, or six weeks, depending on, you know, the term and how busy the staff are and what's going on. You know, we review the contract. OK, well, this term we've seen 60 young people. Um, you know, last term we saw 50 young people. These young people had these issues and these wanted to go on and do this. Um, so we're constantly reviewing the contract. So that way I don't have to sit down at the end of the ring and go, hmm, what actually worked? I'm constantly doing that all the time. Um, why is it important for your business to meet the customer needs? Well, as I've said, if we didn't, we wouldn't have any customers. Um, the best way to market a business is through word of mouth, but it's also the quickest way to lose contracts as well. So if you do a, a really bad job for someone, they're going to tell someone else. The um, World Bank of Scotland, they did some research. Um, excuse me while I go off on a tangent. Um, World Bank of Scotland, they did uh, some research into who says what about their service. And uh, they discovered that if... Uh, if if a man has a bad customer service when he walks in um, to their bank, um, he'll tell three people. And if he has a good service, he'll tell one. Um, they also did the same research with women. And uh, if a woman has a, a good experience, she'll tell five people. But if she has a bad experience, she tells ten. Okay, so uh, make sure you look after the women in your business because they tend to talk a lot more than men. Um, what, re what methods of research do you use to meet your customer needs? Well, you know what? Um, we do quite a bit. Um, aside the meetings and sitting down and actually being really blunt and saying, what do you want? Um, we also are offering up new ideas all the time. And that, that's part of staying, you know, having an edge and staying ahead of, um, you know, everyone else. Um, but the other thing that we do in some of our schools is that we... Um, we ask the students what they think and we also ask the teachers to ask the students what they think so it's not just coming from us. Uh, in one of our schools we have a box, we have two boxes and um, you have your advice and guidance session and you go out of the room and we have just really simple very innocent smoothies and um, you know was this helpful yes or no and you can just put a little note in one yes or no and you can tell us whether you thought that was useful and we feed that back to schools so um, let's put that in place in Wade Deacon and we'll do that in September and uh, let you know the outcome of that the other thing that we do if you have an advice and guidance session with us um, we normally ask uh, okay well on a scale of 1 to 10 how excited are you for the future you know typically our answers tend to be around 8, 9 and 10 for like yeah I'm really excited this is brilliant you know I can't wait to get going you know if we find those numbers start to decrease then I know actually you know we haven't done our jobs right and we need to have a look um, does your business customer needs vary? Yeah, as in person and contract. So every student has different needs. Um, some students like to talk and they love to come and spend some time with us and tell us what they're good at and, you know, about their dreams and ambitions. And other students don't know where they're going and don't know quite what to dream or what to, you know, where to aim. And part of our job is to help them find that. Um, and as for the, the, the teachers, you know, every teacher is different and have different needs, you know, and different demands on their time. Um, is it expensive to meet your customer needs? Um, my biggest cost in the business is labour. It would actually be people sitting in schools. That's my biggest cost. Um, and that's because, obviously, they're the ones doing the work. Um, you know, the price of computers is nothing as to compared to the skill of someone actually sitting there and using it and talking and having that conversation with that young person. Um, is it expensive? It's a business need. If I... How can I put it? Um, I'd probably say that you this part of running your own business is being able to price a job properly. So it might be expensive to, to meet a customer's needs, but you're going to have to charge them appropriately because if you're not making a profit then you know why are you doing it um, to be successful you have to be earning money at it um, so I'd say is it expensive yeah but that the customer's going to carry that cost because if they want someone who's not going to meet the needs then they're not going to spend the money and um, what's the impact in the business if you don't meet customer needs again as I've said you don't get customers uh, I hope that's helped. Um, I'm going to be with you guys on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to uh, attempt to drive uh, over to Witness and spend an hour or so with you in your school. Uh, it'd be great to come and meet you guys. Um, you know, thanks to the couple of guys who tweeted uh, me. That was uh, was very sweet. Um, babes. Mm -hmm. 
uh, very appropriate. Um, but you know, seriously, thank you. You you you're touching it on media here, and uh, I hope I've helped. Um, but Tuesday, uh, I will be in, and I think it's quarter past eleven. Miss Healy's got me in, so come and say hi. Um, uh, I'll come and see you guys. If you've got any more questions, then you know, please send them through one email. Um, I hope I've helped you today. Um, but thanks for your time. Okay, see you soon. Bye.